Yeah. All right, so uh, I can't. It can't be a Rob Balder set without a Jonathan Colton song. <laughs> so I figure a little uh, audience participation is in order. Air clap. Oh. Hey, it's Tom, it's Bob, from the office down the hall. It's good to see you, buddy, how have you been? Things have been okay for me, except that I'm a zombie now. I really wish you'd let us in. I think I speak for all of us when I say I understand.
Yes, Jonathan Colton, showing that it was possible to do what the Funny Music Project is doing, which I'll talk about in a second. But let me attempt this, because it's always fun to attempt it, even though I don't always get through it. <clears throat> While I'm doing covers. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, silicium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and radium, and nickel, neodymium, and neptunium, germanium, and iron, and uranium, and uranium, and uranium, and europium, and zirconium, and titanium, and anium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium, and gold, and protectivium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, and iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, thermium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Thing I had my accompanist throw in. <clears throat> Science! <laughs> There's holmium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and molybdenum and magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and lead, praseodymium and platinum and plutonium, palladium, platinum, lithium, potassium, tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelevium, einsteinium, nobelium, and argon, carbonium, radon, zinnite, and rhodium, and thorium, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, and sodium. These were the only ones in which the news had come to Harvard when Tom Lehrer wrote the song, since some others were discovered. Science! <laughs> All, right, All right, one more cover because it lets me talk about the funnymusicproject.com. This is by one of our fellow thumpers. Funny Music Project is uh, The Fump, or thefump.com. This is a collection of uh, some of the uh, sort of active touring type uh, uh, comedy musicians in the field. And we have gotten together and uh, put out two Three songs a week, plus five uh, from other folks on the Fun Side Shows. There's actually one new free song under Creative Commons licensing. You can download it, you can pass it around, you can subscribe, you can buy the CDs. They come out every two months. And we have a whole bunch of them right over here on this table where uh, Sudden Death is uh, making the Vanna hands. It's not jazz hands, but Vanna hands. It's jazz, Vanna, jazz hands. Sorry. And a jazz. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, check us out at thefump.com. This is by uh, one of our uh, core thumpers, uh, Spaff, who uh, uh, records with uh, Robert Lund. And um, does anyone know, I, uh, God, I hope you do, the song, uh, uh, Hey There Delilah? Ah, okay, yes, well, one of you. All right, so I'll explain. This is a song which, I, yeah, it's not really a, a sort of pop crowd, but uh, this is like ubiquitous on the pop stations and the soft rock stations and emo and all that other stuff. It's essentially, it's, it comes off as this very loving song about this guy who's trying to make it with his guitar and, and his, his girlfriend is off at school and she's in New York and she's a thousand miles away and he's going to make it so that they can be together and they'll show everybody and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's a lovely song and uh, if you take it at face value, that's fine. However, as it turns out, uh, in interviews, uh, this is by the Plain White Tees, and um, Tom Higginson, the lead singer, admitted that Talila was just this chick he wanted to get into her pants, and thought by writing the song, uh, this tender love song, that he could make that happen. So uh, this is this is Spaff's take on on that. <laughs> the 
stupid queen. Do not address Delilah's mother as a MILF, and please desist from naming puppy dogs and photos of yourself in plain white tees. Next time, put some pants on, please. Nice cottage cheese. My client went in hiding halfway across the nation, yet you evidently stalked her to her undisclosed location in New York. Put it in your song, you dork. We're freaking torqued. Oh, we're watching you, you creep. Oh, we watch you when you sleep. Oh, we watch you when you eat. Oh, we watched you take a leak. A thousand miles seems pretty far, but you use planes and trains and cars and pogo sticks and segways and a horse. We got warrants out for you, so Romeo, if you try to go near her, you'll regret the choice, of course. There's lots of guys who gladly pay to make your love song go away. They'll quickly take you down without remorse, with deadly force. But I left the band for law school while you got rich with the fellas with your song. Here's why I took this client on. Like you, I've wanted her so long. So it's so nice to sue you, Tom. Yes, sir. how's mom? <laughs> Yeah, this is a foam-related song. Uh, Shoebox, who will be on later and has organized Nipple Palooza, give it up for Shoebox, please. You know, um, he's got this song uh, called "I'm Gonna Procreate," um, which you, you might have heard of if you've heard his music. It's essentially a uh, an anthem saying, "Well, Ari, right, you may not want me to breed, but you can't stop me." Um, well. As it turns out, uh, all of us in the Fump sort of have to, like, actually make music. And sometimes that's a problem for me. Uh, so, uh, my deadline sort of came and went and came and went a couple of times, and I finally said to Shoebox, hey, you know that song, the procreate song? You think I could just, like, have your backing track so I could just sort of fake it and parody it? And he's like, hey, all right, whatever. So this is, this is what I ended up with. Say to me, shoebox. People say to me, balder. You're in the funk now. Will you write any new songs or just sit there like a lump now? Fumbers must be reliable, like Max or Mitsubishi. So I replied to the mailing list and told them to lick my feces. Ah, sorry, it was on the back of the track. I wanted to change it. And you know, it's such a hassle. All my sorry life I've used chicanery and slyness to avoid any real work and get by with a C minus. Oh, I still want the wealth and fame and to make my front page headlines. But to be myself, I must maintain my disregard for deadlines. Always take the easy choices, though I always pay for them. I got the discipline of Paris Hilton work I think of a tapeworm. I once had to get CPR, I put it off until tomorrow. Yeah, usually I phone things in if I can find a phone to borrow. I'm gonna procrastinate, there's nothing can't do about it. It's gonna be so late. You're gonna wonder if I'm even still a member. Did I remember? Did I give up on this thing I helped create? No, I think it's freaking great. I'm gonna procrastinate. I'm gonna procrastinate. I should get caught up on things they say. It's a no-brainer. So I did my 04 tax returns and I learned the Macarena. 
Mr. Green assigned an alien in 84. Well, guess what? I finally read it. Maybe he's alive and he needs to my book report. I can still get partial credit. What will it get me? This absence of persistence. Maybe someday on my deathbed I'll review my whole existence. With all the projects I haven't done and all my screw ups in it. But as it's flashing before my eyes, I'll do it all at the last minute. I'm gonna procrastinate. There's nothing. Say about it. You'll need to investigate. When's the last time old unfaithful has erupted? Was he abducted? Can we get a real guy, or is it too late? Well, I know I'm tempting fate, but I can't wait until the day the giant corporations say we love whatever you call what you do. And on you we hereby bestow a movie and a TV show and an extra million just for being you. Small take two. Ask me where the hell that song I promised to produce is. I'll completely evaporate like a made out of excuses. Tom will fill up my slot for me or just get one of the new guys. And when I'm finally out of slack, I'll rip off one of you guys. I'm gonna procrastinate. There's nothing you can say about it. Go on, recriminate me. I'll be laughing when the bad cats come to take me and elevate me to the of stardom, but until then I will be the biggest fake you ever saw, with CDs that I don't play on, and two comics I don't draw, and a hypertensive bloodstream full of peasant mountain dew, cause I swear to god I'm writing this the night before it's due, I'm gonna procrastinate. I'm gonna procrastinate. I'm gonna procrastinate. And I was gonna write a joke at the end here, but I never got around to it. How, uh, director, am I doing on time? One song, two songs? Anyone? No one's out there? Five minutes? I can do two songs in five minutes. <laughs> I'll just do the elements again. Five times. Maybe I'll get it right one of those times. <laughs> All right, well let's 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 get the video game song and go straight to the uh, the last uh, thing. I really appreciate it. You guys have been a fantastic audience here. And uh, I gotta admit, this is the first time I've performed outside of like a science fiction convention, or et cetera. So uh, I was a little bit nervous, but uh, you, you guys, Rochester, and and. You in particular, all of you, are, are fantastic. Thank you. And, um, and here is this one. Where is it? No, that's not it at all. My God, we've done that one before. Your band is screwing up. Where the hell are we? Yeah, this one goes to 11. Oh, it doesn't go backwards, that's the problem. It gets down to one and then it just won't, it won't regress any further. Well, I will. Is that it? No, that's not it. Well, I'm so glad I, I decided to do one song instead of two in the, uh, five minutes, because that gave me two minutes to completely fuck up. Ah, there we go. Mini guitar. God, that sucks. Well, I wrote this song for a group of men and women who just don't get the respect they deserve. Because they are out there every day, exploring strange new worlds that try to kill them. Seeking out new life that tries to kill them. And new civilizations that try to kill them. But somehow through all of that, they still have an image problem. So I figured uh, this is what they needed it's for Starfleet. By the time you see them deep cloak, it's already too late. You've got a main hall breach, deck seven and eight. Your shields are dead, you can't compensate. We're a crack shot crew, we're a long way from home. Get an itchy trigger finger when you're out here alone. We'll shoot anything that moves in the neutral zone. You gotta light it up, light it up, light it up, light it up. Hey! Me and the Romulans encroach, take them out. You gotta keep them federated. Take it out, we gotta keep them federated. 